Okay, guys, let's right now go to the ski logger. Okay, what we need from the ski logger is we need to import the pipe, uh, pipe input. So it's gonna capture like the input we give as a user. Okay, next up, what we wanna do is we're gonna say from the pi input, we're gonna grab the keyboard because we want from the keyboard, we wanna import like a listener and we wanna import the key. So we're gonna listen to the imports, to, uh, we're gonna listen uh, what the target is typing and we're gonna capture every keys. Okay, what we want is we're gonna create one loop function. We're gonna say with listener and on, this listener has an on press and this listener has an on release. We're gonna do something as a listener. Listener has a, a list, list. Uh, no, sorry. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say listener that join. Join. Okay, great. So we have two parameters on the press, on the release. I just gonna, and on the release, we're gonna just call this on release, release, and we're gonna call this one. Oh, uh, this one was on press, sorry. On press and uh, on release. Okay, great. Now we need to create these two functions because we don't have this. So function, let's say we're gonna start with on press. We wanna do something. What we're gonna do is we're gonna print something right now. Uh, that was one too much. And we have, of course, uh, the on release. Sorry, I'm just on release. We wanna do something, we wanna print. Okay, great. Now we have those two functions we're gonna use. What we wanna also do is we wanna, when we, uh, s uh, let's say we have installed this malware on the target uh, PC, it's pressing every input, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's capturing every input he's doing on his uh, computer, but how we get this file back? So uh, let's say we wanna send files to our email address or to a fake account, something that, so we need files. And how we gonna create files? We gonna, uh, gonna create another function write file this file is gonna get all the lines we are typing and that's it for now okay so now we have let uh, our three uh, functions we're gonna work with so we want to have lines of text full sentences not just uh, characters because it's uh, really difficult to to put them together and, and and it's not readable we want readable text to capture from our target. So we're gonna create like a global variable, lines. Oh, sorry, <laughs> lines. Lines is gonna be a string variable. And we're gonna use this one later on to capture things. But first, let's also start with creating these files. So we're gonna create files. We're gonna open. Uh, we're gonna open a okay, uh, file. Let's say this is a test file. Let's say test file.txt. And in this test file, we're gonna say, I want this to capture it as an A. So it's gonna cr create and write in a file. Uh, sorry, as a file, it's not a function. It's as a file, of course. And as a file, we want the file to write and not itself, we want to write the lines. And besides the lines, we also love when there will be like some space. So we're gonna add the space. Okay, great. So this is our file writing function. This function is done. Okay, the next function we wanna create is when we want, uh, how we can stop this program from running because it's really important this program can stop running. Okay, we will, uh, let's say for demo purposes because in real life when you send this to your target, you don't want them to press ask to, uh, to stop the program. You just want it to keep capturing all the time and send let's uh, and send data let's say every 30 minutes or every uh, 15 minutes that it sends data but for now we're gonna uh, we're gonna say if the key because it's gonna have a parameter of course of key this also has a key because we're pressing keys from the because we're, uh, we're capturing keys on the listener from the keyboard if key equals uh, key pump escape then we want to break. So we're gonna say return, 
why I cannot type return return we're gonna return false end of story this is where the program stops so this print can be gone this print can be gone clean code okay so our first function is write a file done it does what it does it just writes that uh, lines to a file second function we have complete a uh, second function on press we still need to work on that third function on release so when we press ask this program will stop and it will uh, uh, create a file okay on the press what we're gonna do on this press what we want is we have created those lines we're gonna use we're gonna use um, <laughs> we're gonna use those lines so what we're gonna do with this line lines is if the key uh, Let's say uh, we want to have this on the enter key. Is yeah. This if we press enter, like I think when when people press on the enter button, this will happen. We want it to uh, create a new line, like in real life. I press enter, it creates a new line. We want this also in our uh, in our in our uh, in our file. Otherwise, it's not readable. It's not real, so we want this. Okay, so we're gonna program this. So every time it's hitting enter, we're gonna write lines. Just as easy as that, uh, we're gonna write a file with lines because it's gonna append. And we're gonna clear the lines because we want back empty line for the next time he presses enter. Okay, then we say else uh, elif, elif this, uh, the key, what we want is you're gonna see uh oh this the ah, yeah, key sorry the key from the input uh we uh we, we will like let's say uh you're typing a word uh let let me uh best give you an example hello space my space name space 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 is we don't want because it's capturing everything and a keylogger captures everything like if you press space it's gonna type space space press space press we don't want that it's really not readable so we want to get those things out of there so to do to do this we need to make from this key input what is a key a string because string we can replace characters of a string so what we're gonna do we're gonna replace things we're gonna say uh, Ooh, wrong ones. We're gonna say if there is. Oh. If there is space, we don't want that. Punt is all numbers. Am I? uh let me see for a sec if he replaces is all numbers because it cannot be special yes okay so this this was is this right on is all num have uh returns true if the string is a, ah okay it needs to be off yeah this one is, is is great so next off what we really want to have is we're gonna say if the string is uh, if the string is all number, we're gonna check if it is a number. We're gonna say lines plus equals, and we're gonna say uh, lines plus equals, and we're gonna say. Let me think for a sec. Uh, okay, we're gonna say again this. We wanna we want this again, like that. Okay, maybe you can we can. Uh, to do it better you can we can do it right here uh but just this can be cleaner it's not really clean but it's, it's i think it's gonna work next one we want to check is we want to check if the key no we're gonna check sorry on the space equals to key punt space if it is a space we want to just add of course the space like this we're gonna say uh, lines plus equals like this we just hard coded the space i was hard coding the space first here i just wanted to do but how we do it with with this is all num is is is, is uh it's gonna check if it is like 
an alpha uh, is is going to check is it if it is alpha numer numeric way that was not easy and if it is alpha numeric numeric we're going to add this so that is what we want if it is space we want to add a space like we know the space and not like uh, not like space button press things like that we don't want that we want this we want clean great clean code okay let me see right now what we have so we have of course we have uh this one we use this one uh we have yeah 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 uh, we can like yeah sorry that one was not okay from we have the own release okay if key is key enter it's gonna write files okay what we can do for uh we can like to see we can print every key right here we press okay let's make some space here so we can type things sorry okay let's run this program on the current file and let's see if it crashes let's hope it's not crashing okay program runs let's type hello like you see it's capturing everything we type space like we don't like that but right now we're printing before we we clean things up but it's working uh my name is crystal you see like we don't like this okay crystal doesn't matter okay we program ask will stop the file dre and it did, it did create this test file nothing is in this te uh, text file why not okay let's see for a second okay yeah this is of course a big error let's change this up for a second uh let's see let's see if key enter uh right file the lines will add okay yeah this is great why what what am i doing wrong if Uh, okay, so okay, let me see what I'm doing wrong because it's crash. It's not saving it to the test file, so that's not okay. Uh, so if keys enter on L with key string print. Ah, uh, okay, I see it. We forget one here and uh, one here. So we need to replace those uh, break uh, curly blade curly braces that's uh hello hello my name is my name is crystal okay let's hello my name is crystal okay let's see if it's saving it to the file hello my name is crystal hello you see like it was capturing these things but we needed to delete it that otherwise it was not uh it was not an alphanumeric, uh, an alphanumeric, and it was always false, so it's not reading. So, okay, let's do like one more test, real, to make sure everything is working just fine. Okay, so we start the program. This is the keylogger. So we just have sent this one to the target. It's on, so it's gonna register everything our target is doing. So let, okay, so let's test this right now out. So we just sent this one to the target. The program is running on the target machine and let's say a program is going to send every 10 minutes a uh, file to our email address and right now uh, the user is going to entering his username and password so username is christoph passport is test one two three and it's going to send right now this to our mail so we're going to get this mail and we have like user credentials username passport and it's gonna capture so much more, it's so powerful. It's really fun to, to build. It's an easy project. It's it's not taking too much time to build this. And it just, it just is, a, it, it, yeah, like I just said, it's, it's really fun. So enjoy it, uh, try it by yourself. Maybe you can like in, uh, build more on this. Uh, if you guys want, we can also build, a, like we can also build, uh, re rebuilding on this by doing that. 10 minute mail send things and things like that but i think for for uh, for now this is a, a fun good project you can start this by coding it yourself and expand it and have 
fun with it. So this was another episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And I see you guys in the next video. So bye.